You said I should come by. About the party. Oh, yes. Uh, but Trevor's here. Oh. No bad timing. I can come back. If... Oh, no, 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 please don't go. But you said he's here. Well, actually, there's, there's a, a really big mess brewing. It involves Adam. Maybe you could help. Uh, yeah, sure. Please, come in. Sure. Well, you know, well, if you don't have the authority, let me talk to the warden. Go find them. Yes, I'll wait. Damn bureaucrats. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I got, I got to go up and, and break into Arlene's cell tonight. What's going on? Well, I was going through Jan's things, and I found a letter. Yeah, a letter that uh, Janet wrote to your ex. That, that Janet wrote to Adam? Wh um, wh why, is it, why is it here? I... Oh, well, apparently she just never mailed it. Yeah, she claims in the letter that Adam is Haley's father. Talk about loco. We never knew how loco. Damn, Warden, where the hell is he? Does Haley know about this letter? Trevor, hang up. Well, what do you know about this bull? It's not bull. Adam is Haley's father. You knew. How? Adam told me. When? What he found out. Found out from whom? Ar Arlene? Why did you sit on it, Brooke? Because Adam said that your sister wanted it that way for Haley's sake. Oh, my. Then it's true. Yes. Adam is, is Haley's father. No wonder he's been hanging out around here. Oh, man. Trevor, he just wanted to get to know her. He wanted to help her. Oh, it's so ironic. What? Don't you remember last what winter, was it, when, when she pulled that stunt with the intruder, told him that she was uh, his illegitimate kid? At the country club dance room. <sighs> yeah, she thought she was pulling the legs. Boy, she, only she knew, huh? I forgot about that. Turns out the joke's on her, huh? Some joke. I was disgusted enough when I found out that, that they had had an affair, but this jerk being the father. Listen, Trevor, I know that you don't think much of Adam. I don't think anything of Adam Chandler. He's a, a greedy little rat. He's rotten to the core. You're wrong. Yeah, I knew you'd say that. You kind of got a weakness for no, him, No, I Brookster. say that because I know him, and I know he has shortcomings. But... He did not tell Haley the truth, and you know the reason he didn't is because he loves her. Loves her? He doesn't have any human emotions. Trevor, from the day that he found out that he was Haley's father, he wanted more than anything in the world to have a real father-daughter relationship with her. Like the dandy relationship he has with Skye, huh? Listen, Skye was taken away from him when she was a very little girl. When she came back, she was a grown woman, and she had a huge chip on her shoulder. He loves her. It's just that there was too much history there. I don't see any difference between that and what's happening with Haley. Just the fact that he was considerate enough not to tell Haley the truth, Arlene convinced him that Haley would not be able to handle it. Yeah, that's for sure. She was right about that, huh? Well, when Haley first read the letter, Brooke, she, she flat out uh, doesn't believe it. She finds out the truth, she is going to flip out. She'll just have to deal with it. She's going to have to sit down with somebody and, and, and talk this out. She's going to need to be talking to somebody she really trusts. Yes, of course she is, and that person is you. Oh, boy, it ain't going to be no day at the beach, but you're right, yeah. But you're wonderful with her, darling. You'll explain it. She'll understand. H how am I going to do that? I don't even understand it. How do you explain to, to, to some kid that their father, the person that they love more than anybody in their whole life, isn't their father? You just tell her that she never has to lose that love, and this shouldn't change her feelings for him. What about her feelings for her mother? When she finds out, she's going to be furious at Arlene, and I don't blame her. I'm beginning to wonder about Arlene. What the hell is she up to? Living a, a, a life uh, that's a lie, and she's making Haley live it, too. I'm sure she had her reasons. Oh, no, it's too easy, Brooks. There's too much has been going down with her. What, with her father, Barry, passing on, and her mother getting in and out of the booze? She was just getting her act together. This is going to hit her like a ton of bricks. Darling, Haley's stronger than you think. What the hell is Arlene thinking about? I mean, I could see you're keeping it from a kid. She's almost a, a woman now. Every human being has the right to know who the parent is. So now that she knows the truth, she'll just have to accept it. <sighs> so easy for you to say. Listen, I've had some talks with Haley. 
She's changed. I mean, she doesn't have this attitude toward Adam like she used to. She doesn't have the outright hostility that she used to have in the beginning. I have noticed this. There's been a definite thawing there. No, no, no. She's just grateful to Adam because he's been helping out with her mother. Listen, Trevor, she may be able to handle this much better than you think. Yeah, well, I'm going to find out. Where are you going? I'm going out to, to find her. Well, I'll go with you. No. But I want to help. Don't you think you've done enough already? Here's a hold on to the letter and show it to me before you... Talk to her about it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You weren't using your head, Nat, and it's not the first time. I just don't seem to be able to do anything right. Well, I don't have time to sit here and take care of your hurt little feelings. I gotta go find Haley. Um, I should really be going. Please don't go, Brooke. Well, Natalie, I think you have enough to contend with. I'm... I could really use a friend. Please stay. There's no point in denying it. Trevor is furious with me. I'm sorry. Brooke, I just don't know what to do. I, I, I think a surprise birthday party is the last thing he's in the mood for. Well, I don't know. Maybe a, maybe a party would be good for him. I certainly would help out. You just have to let me know what you want to do. What would you do? Well, you know, I can't tell you what to do. Trevor's your husband. You know him better than I do. Well, at the moment, I'm not so sure. Look, I know he just, you know, he has a hot temper. And this, this will blow over. He's been so testy lately. I think he's very worried about Haley. He loves her so much. Yes, yeah, I can see that. You know, when he finds her, I know he will break this news to her as gently as he can. And eventually, things will work out. They have to. Oh, they just have to, Brooke. You know, Trevor loves you too, Natalie. You know, this, this crisis will pass. But, you know, Haley is going to need the love and support from both of you. You're very right. And, and Haley is the one we should be thinking about. <sighs> Thank you for staying. I don't know if I was able to help. <laughs> anyway, um, but if there's anything I can do, please. I appreciate the offer. All right, I have to run. I've got a real early appointment in the morning. Thank so. you. All right, well, take care of yourself. You too. Okay. I can't stop thinking about Haley. I mean, Trevor was so afraid for her. Well, she was kind of broadsided by this. Oh, I feel... I feel very sorry for her. I mean, Natalie said she wanted so badly to, to have it not be true. I mean, she wanted somebody to tell her that Adam is not her father. I can't imagine that this is the kind of news that somebody would look forward to getting, you know? I just keep thinking what enormous repercussions it is to keep a secret like that. It strikes a little bit close to home, huh? What? Well, Arlene was trying to do the right thing for Haley. You're trying to do the right thing for Jamie. I am doing the right thing. Brooke, after witnessing this, you still are positive this, that this is the right thing? Yes. And you don't think that you're setting Jamie up for the very same kind of disaster? Look, Arlene is not me, and Jamie is not Haley. It is not all right, the same. All right, so why are you so upset? Because I'm... I'm talking about an 18-year-old girl who has had her life turned upside down. And you don't see any parallels? No, None. no, all right. And it's not some, some <laughs> secret design of mine to keep Tad locked inside, either. It's not, all right? It's, it's not keeping you out by keeping him in. I mean, is that what you're worried about? Let's not go into that, okay? Yes, let's not. Look, I'm sorry. I, I don't want to dwell on this, but look, you yourself said that Arlene was sitting on a powder keg by not telling Haley the truth, she right? She was. Well, don't you see that the same thing can happen to you, Brooke? Don't you see that when Jamie is 18 years old, his life could blow up look, in his face? he is an infant, all right? He's not a teenager. He cannot... What does he need information he can't process? Well, because you what start... What he needs are people who love him, who support him. Positive people who, who soothe him when he cries and who take him for walks when he needs fresh air. That's what he needs. So you're saying, what, that Jamie is too young for the truth to matter? I'm saying it, it's not going to help him learn his ABCs. What about Tom? 
Tom is a loving, caring man who has pledged his support to Jamie and me. And it will be there. And it's not a burden for him. He wants to do I it. I know that. I, look, I and believe it, that Tom is a wonderful man. It is also not like I'm keeping someone from having some father-son relationship. Pat is gone. Okay. I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to pursue this any further. I promise. Good. It's your secret. It's your decision. And whatever you have decided or will decide, hey, I'll stand by you. Okay? Thank you. You're welcome. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I gave you my opinion when you didn't ask for it. I'm sorry that I've complicated things. I just. Even though it's my own business from Oh, now. Jack, I love you. I love I love you for caring. I think that I'm doing the right thing. Come on, let's not do this, all right? Let's let's see if we can find something more enjoyable than this debate. Hmm? Hmm? Now I wonder what that might be. Oh, I think we can figure it out. Yeah, I think we can. 